In this video, I'll show you how to install and program Hunter's Bluetooth Node Controller. Hunter nodes are commonly nicknamed hockey pucks. This is not a comprehensive tutorial on the Bluetooth node. There are so many options and settings on this app that we'd be here for an hour going over them all. You can discover them for yourself when you have time. Notes will work with pretty much any DC solenoid. Most valve manufacturers have their own proprietary DC solenoids. This comparison sheet linked below covers the benefits of the different battery powered timers that Hunter makes, so I won't go into that here. I've also covered the differences between the standard node and the Bluetooth model in my previous video linked below, so we'll just focus on installing and programming the Bluetooth node here. Before you begin, you'll need to install two 9 volt batteries. I recommend writing the battery installation date on the bottom of one of them each time you replace them. You can then program it on your workbench or tailgate before you connect it to the DC solenoid on your sprinkler valve. This will not work with the standard AC solenoid that comes with the sprinkler valves. It's easy to tell whether the valve has an AC or DC solenoid because the AC solenoid wires are the same color. The DC solenoid wires are black and red. Download and install the Hunter Node BT app from the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. From the connector control screen, choose your node. If you have more than one, then you need to verify the serial number that's printed on the side of the device. Clicking the schedule button at the bottom of the screen will bring you here. Just click the edit icons to change the water days, start times, and run times. The water days screen looks like this and you just click on the days to toggle the days on and off. You can also use the odd, even, or interval features, but I'm not a fan of using those in most cases because then you never know what days of the week they'll be coming on since the days will be changing from week to week. The start times screen looks like this and you just tap the add start time button which pops up a clock window that you can tap or drag to the appropriate hour, then minutes. Then tap the AM button or PM button as needed. Tap the save button. When you click run times, it'll bring you to this screen with station one showing. Click station one and it'll bring you to this screen where you spin these number wheels to set the run times. Click Save. From the menu button here, you can tweak your settings. Like turning on and off your node's solar panel. Rain and soil sensors and more. You can also change your seasonal adjustment if you have a node with more than one zone. And you can create seasonal adjustments ahead of time for each month. Remember to click save. I'm not going to go through all the other settings options I'll let you do some discovery on your own. There's a plethora of options for this little hockey puck. I'll go over one more important thing though. To run a zone manually, click the run button, then tell it how long you want it to run. Click run. If you need to interrupt that run cycle, then click stop. The dashboard button takes you to the home screen or dashboard. With battery powered timers, the red wire is what we call the hot wire and you'll have one of those for each one of the zones that are on the timer. 
The black one is the common wire, and you're only going to have one of those. So each of the solenoids will be wired to the black, and then each solenoid will have its own red wire. And you want to make sure you use watertight wire connectors with those. Keep in mind that the node does not need to be installed at the valves. You can actually use 18 gauge wire to run it up to 100 feet away. So you could have it mounted or set uh, somewhere that's more convenient uh, on your porch or in a shed or something like that uh, that makes it more convenient for you. It is best to keep it out of the sun though for longevity's sake. I've created a simple worksheet linked below that you can download and print out. The operations on the sheet match the order of the operations on the timer. Just fill in the blanks and you'll be ready to program the timer. Even though the node is technically waterproof, I've found it best to keep the rubber cover on the node when you're not using it. The node is compatible with these rain sensors and these wind sensors. That's what this yellow wire's for, but with the node you can only have one or the other. To install it, you simply cut this yellow wire in half here and then splice the sensor onto those wires. Well, I hope that helped you install and program your Bluetooth node. Remember that all the items I mentioned on this video are available on my resources site linked below. Remember your free downloads to help you with your irrigation system. Please like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.